So today I will be showing you how to install the Beaker browser or just Beaker browser and this is a uh, open source uh, browser which lets you set up peer-to-peer -peer websites easily so you don't need a server and it's a pretty good browser for uh, even browsing the regular web. But it takes advantage of a protocol called the Hyper Protocol to uh, deliver peer-to-peer -peer websites easily. So uh, I'll be doing a tutorial in this, in this video and I'll also be doing an installation. So let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to beakerbrowser.com. Click install Beaker. Install macOS. Or whatever operating system you're using, but for this I'm using macOS. Uh, once it's done, double click on it, obviously, or what? Or you uh, probably have a different process if you're using Linux. You'll probably have to like apt get it, or oh, wait, you can get an apt image. Oh well. Uh, let's just. Let's uh, put this into the applications folder, so if you're on Mac, you always do this. Now, uh, let's just uh, wait for that to be uh, done. Okay, so... Uh, the uh the file has been copied to my applications folder so i should now be able to uh open it the it is beaker browser it's saying verifying uh, beaker browser okay so it's uh started i just had to force quit it and restart it and uh, it should go through some setup with you. Uh, it should just say, uh, can you uh, say that the terms of, uh, you know, the agreement, uh, that the end user license agreement uh, is uh, okay. So let's just uh, look at the browser first. So as you can see, it looks like Firefox est. And uh, yeah, I quite like that look. Uh, you can easily search with pretty much all your search engines right here. You can even search with uh, GitHub and all that. Uh, so by default it's DuckDuckGo, which is a great option quite honestly. You can search with BeatCool though, that currently does nothing. But uh, that is uh, cool. I'll enter full screen. So let's say you want to uh, set up a website. Then how do you do this? Well I'll show you. So you click New Hyperdrive. So after you've opened up the context menu, you add a title like this is a test for a video. You can also uh, pull it from a GitHub and all that. Uh, so this could be a great testing environment, quite honestly. And then uh, you can write whatever you want, let's say. Piers Morgan. I probably spelled Piers wrong, but oh well. Uh, Piers Morgan has been fired from ITV. So, uh... There we are, so uh, I just uh, created a bit of a kind of a uh, kind of heading there, so that's cool, I could put this, test news of the week, and I could underline that and all that. So uh, this is what you can do with it, so you can use, of course you can use HTML, you can pretty much put whatever you really like on it, uh, although your IP might be public, so that is a bit of a problem, but uh, that's uh, cool, so uh, yeah, that's uh, quite nice, uh, I quite like this, uh, this kind of... Uh, 
this way of doing things. I think this is the way that the web always should have been. Uh, but yeah. But you can add in metadata with this. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can do and there's a built-in editor. Making it extremely easy to make your HTML code. Just look up w w3schools.com. Literally. And uh, that's one great resource for you to learn about uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And you can have a nice little test with this stuff. Uh, but yeah. So you've also got a... Uh, so you've got a private drive. So when you go in here, here's like a private part. So only you can access this bit. Which is very cool. Uh, so this is a, an electron based application I believe and uh, yeah it's pretty cool I believe it's also based on Firefox maybe Chromium I forget but it kind of looks Firefox esque and I saw it uses Gecko so it probably is Firefox but uh, let's not get too far away from uh, kind of you know what we're talking about here so you've got a number of options, you can uh, change the search engine, you can change to Google, change to DuckDuckGo, change to Beaker, but by default it's uh, DuckDuckGo, uh, which I really like, I think that's a great uh, kind of idea. Oh, what happened? Uh, but let's just look, so you also have ad blocks, so let's say I go like, do you know what? I hate ads so much and I hate all this that I'm just going to block it all. So there we are. That might slow down your browsing a bit, but that uh, it will definitely give you better privacy. And as you can see, it loads web pages relatively fast. Hopefully it actually loads YouTube. So as you can see, it loads stuff uh, pretty well. But we're not going to feature any old channel on here, are we? Uh, we're going to feature Sandro Linux. Because, uh, yeah. Let's see how uh, stuff loads. Yeah. So, uh, that's cool. Uh, and also, because you can pull from a GitHub, you can actually pull an existing website uh, on GitHub. And you can make it uh, a hyper website. So uh, I've got an instance of this with my own website. So I can do this. So let's go to my library and I'll show you what I mean. So here's a publicly accessible site. Uh, it's a Sandra Linux site but it's very similar. And uh, it looks uh, the exact same. As you can see right here. So that's uh, really cool, actually. And you can update it much quicker and all that. Uh, so, yeah, this could be a very good testing environment. I might test with this stuff. Uh, oops, I forgot to link to that stuff. But, uh, yeah, super cool. Also, new dark mode, light mode switcher. Uh, but let's see the other stuff in this browser so there's a general logs oh uh, yeah look so there's zero peers but basically this works uh, so if you have a peer then you're just uh, seeding that to them I believe but seeding your website and they become a seed I believe if it uses the same decentralized technology that I think it does. But uh, if you want any more documentation on Beaker Browser, you can uh, easily go to their website. And they have uh, documentation, obviously. So they talk about how you can make new hype drives using the editor, uh, web term, sharing hype drive, exporting files forking hype drives, comparing and merging. So there's so much you can really do with this stuff. I've only really 
scratch the tip of the iceberg when it comes to it. And, uh, yeah. I also like how their website has a dot mode. Cool. But, uh, let's say you wanted to, uh, uh add some files. Uh, you can add pretty much whatever you like here. So, uh, let's say I wanted to new file. Let's call it, uh, summertime, sun time is best time, dot CSS. <laughs> no, I don't know, S dot TXT, there we are. And then let's say I just said hi, sun time is the best time. And then let's say I want to that. Okay, so let's say I want to that. Just because we're testing out here. So as you can see here, it just says, hi, sun time is the best time. So you can solve up plain text, you can solve up images, you can solve up pretty much whatever the hell you like. Uh, it really doesn't matter, you can just import it like this. Uh, and that's pretty cool, so it's a good... It appears to be a good uh, web browser for, like, uh, browsing the regular web and also uh, browsing the decentralized web, which is its, its, its main purpose. It's very experimental, it's in beta, but it's super cool. I really can't uh, hammer home how cool this stuff is. Uh... I don't know what extensions it supports, uh, it should say, but, uh, that's really, uh, cool, I guess. Uh, so, overall, let's say that, uh, Beat Compiser is a great browser. Uh, I hope that they continue developing it. Uh, it could even be a daily driver browser. And, uh, yeah, you could, like, uh, do all sorts with this stuff. But I think this is a cool, uh, project. And, uh, yeah, if you want to, you can donate to this project, or you can donate to me, obviously, but, uh, I don't really care. Uh, you can, um, you can, uh, like and, uh, subscribe or follow if you're on LBRY. And if you don't know, LBRY is a great decentralised platform, which doesn't have ads, it doesn't have weird tariffs like YouTube are just about to impose on creators, which are, like, 30%. It doesn't, like censor people and also it has a thing called odyssey which is a more user-friendly option so uh yeah you can use the link down in the description to join uh lbry or odyssey uh you if you use my link then you get a kickback i get a kickback and uh it's totally free so uh why not uh lbry make their money off uh crypto uh basically so there's no ads, no tracking, uh, it's really cool, so, uh, I don't want to sound like too much, much of a shill, so, uh, I'll continue, uh, so, also, uh, you can, uh, you can go to sandralinux.com, you could, uh, check out this browser, obviously, you could check out my other videos about browsers, you could check out my tech news series, you could check out my how-to series, you could check out all my series, and uh, I'm also on DTube, which is a great YouTube and uh, other platforms alternative, which uh, is also based on crypto and it's pretty cool. Uh, but until the next one, I guess, uh, stay happy everyone, stay safe, uh, stay uh, techy, stay happy.